We are gathered together here in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together this man, Vaughn, and this woman, Brianna, in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God and signifying unto us the mystical union that exists between Christ and his church, which holy estate Christ adorned and beautified with his presence in Cana of Galilee. It is therefore not to be entered into unadvisedly, but reverently, discreetly, and in the fear of God, into this holy estate you too now come to be joined. I require and charge you both, as you stand here in the presence of God, before whom the secrets of all hearts are disclosed, that having duly considered the holy covenant you were about to make, you do now declare before this company your pledge of faith to each other. Be assured if this solemn vows are kept inviolable as God's word demands, and if you steadfastly you endeavor to do the will of your heavenly Father, God will bless your marriage, will grant you fulfillment in it, and will establish your home in peace. Vaughn, will you take this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together in the holy state of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, only to her as long as you both shall live? Yes. Brianna, will you have this man to be your wedded husband, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other, keep only to him as long as you both shall live. Yes. You may now exchange vows. Vaughn, would you please share your vows with your... Absolutely. All right. Brianna Abigail Aikman Kearns, it's no coincidence that we are here today and this blessing is beyond all lifetimes that we can live. We are here again. We have found each other again and right on time. This world is upside down for many, but uh, when I know you are there, I can face another day. I am balanced with you and I can see the way clearer. Um, how this fell into place it's like an abstract painting, and time after time, the meaning gets deeper and more real. Uh, who knew what this would look like? And do we ever know what it'll look like? We keep going step by step as the Almighty God keeps, um, keeps um, revealing to us as we take a step. And I am so glad that I found you again, because Brianna, I want to be with you on this journey. I trust your power, your grace, your beauty, your creativity, and your vision on this powerful day by the blessing of Serene Sally Hu and with the planets Jupiter and Saturn, the closest they ever been in 400 years. I'm honored to have the opportunity to become your husband. I vow to love you with everything in me in whatever form we are in from this day forward. I vow to never embarrass you I vow to protect you and your name. I vow to communicate with you, even if that means communicating and I don't want to communicate. I vow to be honest. I vow to respect you. I vow to be open and, uh, to new ideas from you and to listen to you. I vow to be your other half and to be in awareness of when you need me to do more or to do less. I vow to help you raise Nori no matter what. I vow to seek spiritual knowledge with you. I vow to always encourage and empower you to be a woman and be comfortable in your femininity. I vow to work with you uh, wherever you are. I vow to work on myself to be the highest self I can be for you and our family. I listen, I, in listening to you, I vow to work on myself in areas that we communicate need more work. I vow to be a man of my word and to do what I say. I vow to be an exemplary role model of spiritual morality and manners to our children, and I vow to never Netflix you. Uh, I love you with all my heart. You have changed my life. 
and raise my status. You have given me gifts immeasurable. You have given me hope. You have, you have taught me order, clarity, beauty, passion, and so much more. You have the unique gift of putting people at ease and showing them who they are, and you have taught me who I am. You will be a great mother and a great wife. Brianna, will you share your vows with me? Yes. <laughs> Ron Garcia Kern, on this day, December 21st, 2020, I vow to continue to nourish our friendship, our garden, our love. I vow to continue to listen to your heart and to always communicate no matter what or how difficult it may be at times. I will continue to respect and trust you, our union, I'm so grateful for the path God led me to find you. I vowed to be the best mother and wife I could possibly be. Vaughn, you are everything I dreamed of. At times, I find myself just staring at you in a blissful awe. <laughs> I admire you and the man you are becoming each and every day. You truly inspire me. The qualities that I lack, you have immensely and vice versa. We're truly mirrors for each other. I've never met anyone like you. You're so gentle, kind-hearted, patient, unique, trustworthy, calm, and a beautiful man of God. When life gets tough, you always find a way to calm me. Um, I love that you always choose God first. Ultimately, I vow to continue to be the reflection, the light, nur ala nur, and most, most importantly, I vow to put God first in our union. Um, I vow to be my best self and stay true. I vow to stay open-minded, to help guide you. Um, I vow to work with you wherever you are and um, in every single stage that God takes you in life. Um, I vow to stay committed to our vision, our family. Um, our love is bigger than us. I vow to grow with you and follow the plan that God has ordained for us. I will always be here to create with you, to see your dreams with you and help them grow. And I vow to be the encourage that you need. Beautiful. All right, if you two will take your hands, with, take her hands in your hands, all right? The wedding ring is an outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying to all the uniting of this man and woman in holy matrimony. Bless, O Lord, the giving of these rings, that they who wear them may abide in thy peace and continue in the favor through Jesus Christ our Lord. In token and pledge of our constant faith and abiding love, I encourage you to declare to each other your love. If you will, Vaughn, take your ring, her ring, and place it on her left finger, left hand, ring finger, and repeat after me, as a token of my love, as a token of my love, I pledge to you, I pledge to you, constant faith, constant faith, abiding love, abiding love, and with this ring I be wed. And with this ring, I be wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit, amen. And the Holy Spirit, amen. Okay. Brianna, will you take his ring? Place it on his left hand ring finger. And repeat after me. As a token of my love. As a token of my love. And a pledge of our constant faith. And a pledge of, pledge of our constant faith. And our abiding love. And our abiding love. With this ring, I be wed. With this ring, I be wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. For as much as Brianna and Vaughn have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God in this company and thereto have pledged their faith to each other and to have declared the same by joining hands and by the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce to you that they are husband and wife together in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let me pray for you. O oh, blessed and holy Father, we pray that you will anoint them with your spirit, that you will surround them with your love, that you will encourage them, 
support them and hold them up, and that they will be a shining light to their children and their family as they grow together. May this union be an example of truly your union with the church that re represents respect, honesty, and grace. May they forgive each other when they get mad. May they love each other when they are hurting. And may they always find the assurance that they are with each other forever and ever, we pray. Amen. You may kiss your breath. All right, that's it. You guys are now finally married. It's taken us a while to get you here, but we did it, finally.